I thought it was a great effort. Uh, I thought defensively tonight is probably one of the best defensive uh, games that we've had uh, this year. And uh, I don't know in my memory how many times I've seen North Carolina get 46 points in this building. So um, I'm really proud of our guys. And they made a run. You kind of knew it was coming. Uh, you know, the rafters were shaking. And uh, then our guys settled in and answered it. We answered their run, which I thought was really important and, and really uh, is something I'm very proud of for our team. So it's a great win for us. Obviously, North Carolina is a terrific team. We're very fortunate. And so um, very proud of our guys. That's uh, the lowest point total they've ever had in this building. Wow. And, and I, I didn't know that, but um, makes our makes us feel good about what we did. And again, I don't think it's going to happen very often. And some of that was us, some of that was them missing shots, but very proud of my team. Other than denying Marcus mm -hmm. the ball, what did you guys do that was so successful? You know, I think our uh, emphasis was their personnel more than anything else. And uh, in other words, we wanted to guard Tokido, we wanted to guard Jax, we wanted to guard Britt certain ways. I thought our guys locked in the last couple of days. Their preparation, I thought, was as good as it's been. Really understanding and knowing their personnel. Uh, with Paige, any ball screens, you know, we wanted to uh, exaggerate our, our help and, our, and how we showed on the, on the screens um, and try not to let him get loose. I thought Cat did a phenomenal job. Um, so, you know, we understand we got a lot of work to do. We still have a lot of work to do if we want to play in the greatest show on earth, which is the NCAA tournament. We're not there yet. Um, this certainly helps us, but we got a lot of games to play. We better play play well as we leave, uh, you know, this building. So we just want to keep improving, getting better, and then have great confidence every night. And I think our guys had that tonight. We didn't screen very well. Even our ball screens, we really didn't screen anybody. And uh, we just kind of – you know, uh, kind of fell apart there for a few minutes. And we knew, I knew at some point, they're going to make a run. I mean, it's coming. You know, I don't know how long it's going to be, or they're going to make some shots. And um, what I liked was that we were able to answer it, and we were able to have enough poise. We never gave up the lead. And, uh, you know, again, that, that makes you feel, feel good about uh, your guys, that you can withstand and hold that off. Uh, because, you know, obviously in this building, um, you know, Roy, Roy got on him the other day and, and uh, told him they were too quiet. And he can't say that tonight because this place was uh, far from quiet. So um, I, I was proud of our guys for being able to withstand that. You know, all your players, I think all of us in coaching, we like and we take pride in the fact that our players hopefully get better. They don't always, but hopefully they do. And uh, we're all watching it. We're all watching him improve. We're watching him take his game to another level, growing in confidence, uh, learning how to be a, a really dynamic point guard. And so, uh, you know, we just got to keep challenging him and pushing him, but uh, I'm proud of him. And uh, he, he's got a great future ahead of him. He just needs to keep working every day.